Today I wanted to talk to you about my passion for 2D animation and specifically a studio called Studio Ghibli. Studio Ghibli was created in 1985 and some of his pieces of production include My Neighbor Totoro and Princess Mononoke. The stories mix reality and fantasy together building these immersive worlds. For example, these human-like animals displayed in Spirited Away. I love how the attention to detail brings the narrative to life, like you are right there with the characters. Studio Ghibli has a unique and iconic art style and animation that can't be replicated and helps them stand out in the industry even to this day. The smooth animation allows realism to blend with unrealism, keeping you within the world of the movie. The creator of Studio Ghibli, Hayao Miyazaki, is also an inspiration for me as he overcame many challenges. This includes being born in 1941 Tokyo, Japan when the country was devastated during World War II and his mother having a long-term illness. Despite this, he was still able to work hard and make beautiful stories for the future generations to treasure. I want to make animations like Hayao Miyazaki that resonate with the youth and inspire them, much like how he did for me. I have chosen 3D animation as the topic for my project. In the subject of animation as a whole, as contradicting as it may sound, I personally have a bit more respect for the workers in 3D. This is due to the fact that I feel there is much more time and effort put into the works, as it isn't just done on a flat canvas. I believe that working in a three-dimensional environment is a lot harder. I have chosen Makoto Kimura as my inspiration for this project, as I find his work to be very well respected and inspiring, especially for newer generations. His contributions to the MAPPA Studios are very vast and brilliant. Some major titles being Jujutsu Kaisen, Guilty Crown, July in April and many more. I believe that the MAPPA Studios themselves has a very large impact in the animation world for their brilliant works in the subject of 3D. The Wolf House, directed by Cristóbal León and Joaquín Cocina, is a semi-fictional stop-motion animation film that follows the story of a young girl called Maria after she escapes from Colonia Dignidad, a real-life cult run by former Nazis in Chile, South America. This film is a big inspiration for the kind of animation I hope to create in the future. Although filled to the brim with fantastical and surreal elements, the film still manages to create a realistic and truly harrowing portrayal of the horrors of fascism. It doesn't stray the audience from reality, but rather forces us to see it. And in terms of animation, what draws me to this film is that the process takes precedence over the result. Every element, every prop, every character is built and destroyed before our eyes, and as a result, the Wolf House becomes a film like no other, where the artist's process of creation, rather than being hidden away, takes centre stage. Storytelling is an important part of the animation process. It is essentially what makes or breaks a movie. You can have a great animation, but have a terrible storyline, making the experience lukewarm and quite unsatisfactory. I have seen a lot of movies, but the movies that really inspired me and the person who I look up to, Satoshi Kon, is something I strive to create in my own animations in the future. His interesting use of storytelling involves the ba very basic comic method of showing and not telling, incorporated into his animated movies, which captivates the audience to feel comfortable witnessing the events of the story to play out. Satoshi Kon has had an influence on me to this day for his very unique storytelling. His specialty often ranges from comedic to quite serious scenes in his movie. He had the ability to captivate his audiences using many different types of editing techniques. A lot that were influenced by live action movies but he said added his own effects and quite interesting methods to make it his own. His specialty ranges from comedic to quite serious scenes in his movies. For this project, I've chosen the animations from DreamWorks Studios. They always had a huge impact in the industry as being the number one rivals to Disney with outstanding and memorable animated movies, which some of my favorites are How to Train Your Dragon, Shrek, and one of the most recent ones, The Bad Guys. One of my goals for the future will be to do original stories and animation just like DreamWorks has been doing for so many years, and to do a huge impact for the new generations to come.